Welcome back to Special Report. So the world is in economic turmoil. I don't need to tell you that, but this, of course, as central banks and countries like China, India, and Australia began transitioning to digital currency, the Federal Reserve has been contemplating doing the same here for the U.S. And with digital currency, the government could track every single purchase that we make. I mean, officials could even prohibit us from purchasing certain products or even easily freeze or seize part or all of our money. It's kind of a scary thought. So these are some of the reasons that concerned Americans have reached out to Birch Gold Group. Um, they want to have a physical asset that's independent of the U.S. dollar, gold, uh, tax sheltered, and a retirement account. Uh, you can learn more if gold is right for you, too. Again, that word to text is America, and here's the number. It is 989898, and they're going to send you a free information kit about gold. Great company. They have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. They have thousands of happy customers, uh, countless five-star reviews. Birch Gold has been helping many listeners from the very beginning. Again, just text that word America to the number on your screen, 989898, and claim your free info kit on gold because... Uh, if a central bank digital currency becomes reality, it would sure be nice to have some gold to depend on. All right. Uh, as you know, we have been warning you of the BRICS conference that just happened. That, of course, was Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa working to replace the U.S. dollar on the world market with its own currency that would destroy the U.S. dollar. And the president of France, Emmanuel Macron, says that the BRICS nations could dethrone Europe. So if Macron is worried, shouldn't we be kind of panicking right now? Let's ask our very own Melissa Armo. She is the founder and owner of Stock Swoosh, and Melissa joins us now. Good to see you. Uh, you know, I think s some Americans don't really pay any attention to this, but maybe we should. What do you think? Well, I think the problem is we're carrying so much debt in the United States right now as a country that we've actually devalued the dollar. So that is a problem. And then when you have China, which of course wants to come in as a world power and be number one, they want that currency to be at the top. So when you see alliances like this with particularly Russia and China, yes, it's problematic. Do I think that they're close to 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 overtaking Europe, for example, or the United States, no. But I do think it's a problem for the future. Well, the other thing I want to ask you, um, and again, uh, it's just, you know, it's concerning a lot of people. I mean, we could sit there and, and talk about every political issue out there uh, of the day. But let's be honest, average, everyday, real Americans like you and me, the people watching this show, the number one issue they care about, their pocketbook. Um, they see that they're making less and they're spending more. And this is everything when it comes to groceries, to gasoline, you name it. I've talked to people that have said their home insurance has gone up, uh, people having to sell their homes because they can't afford it. And we're not talking just a little bit. I mean, in some cases, double, tri triple, quadruple. And I don't want people to panic. But we're all feeling, again, the effects of so-called Bidenomics. Uh, and here's the sad news. I mean, Justin News reporting there. You see the headline right in front of your screen. Bidenomics, food prices expected to rise through 2024. I mean, we have Thanksgiving just around the corner. Biden isn't going anywhere anytime soon. What can we do to help ease the pain that we're all feeling? Well, I would say the best thing you could do as a shopper, particularly if you shop for your family, if you're a grocery shopper, is make a list before you go to the store. You know, sometimes when I don't make a list, I tend to overbuy. <laughs> so, I mean, if you make a list, make a list of the things that you need that you absolutely, absolutely need the essentials. And also you can buy in quantity, particularly for meats. You know, you can buy those big family packs of chickens and things and then freeze them. Chicken, I think, is good in the freezer for at least six months. So that's another way. And, you know, shop around, see where you can get the cheaper prices for things or when things are on sale. So I think, and stock up now, you know, before the holidays, because prices will go up over the holidays because people do a lot of cooking between now and the holidays at Christmas. But I think the biggest issue is that people feel rich when they're not scraping every single week with their paycheck and also when they see their 401k going up. 
people feel poor, you know, when everyday things that they need all the time, like gas and food and paying rent or mortgage and a mortgage payment, for example, because mortgage rates have gone up when those things have gone up a lot. So it's the everyday things that people have to pay for that have gone up so much. And of course, food is one of them. So and of course, if you have a 401k, it's been up, it's been down, it's been up, it's been down. It's been a roller coaster all over the place. If you've been watching how the market has been this year, 2022 was a bearish year for the market. We've been doing good so far this year, but we had a big sell off in the month of August. And I really don't know what that means for between now and the rest of the year. We could continue to sell off or we could rally. It's going to depend on the Fed. Yeah, I love it how you said, uh, you know, make a list. I don't. I love to shop. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. But, you know, I mean, we joke around here, you know, with the Rav family and stuff. And one of our producers, he's like, what I do every time is I go to, you know, the, the grocery circular and I look to see what's buy one, get one free. Or if you've noticed now, it's buy one, get one half off. But, but make your list that way and freeze it. I mean, it's what you can do. It's what's in your control uh, until you can uh, make some voting changes, right? So Joe yeah. Biden and the Democrats uh, passed an Inflation Reduction Act, if you want to call it that, and they said that all the extra taxes and fees included in the bill would rake in more cases for the federal government, but cash, I meant to say, for the federal government, but federal revenue fell, are you ready for this, $416 billion from this time last year despite the passage of the IRA bill. But First, we yeah. now know from history that anytime the government increases regulations and taxes, people spend less and the government takes in less revenue. Why, why do we keep doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting a different result, Melissa? Well, first of all, that term Biden, Bidenomics is so problematic. And if, if Biden decides to run using that term, which is exactly what I think they're going to end up doing into 2024, if in fact it is going to be Biden that, that's running for re-election, it's just so problematic because all it did was add on to our debt. It was a spending bill, essentially. It did not really help everyday Americans. It didn't help businesses either because they raised the corporate tax rate, which of course President Trump lowered. So lower taxes is better. I, and I know this doesn't make any sense, but the fact is we have to lower spending and then lower taxes. When the government is constantly, constantly spending on things, and again, many of these programs, sometimes which really don't end up amounting to anything at all, sometimes some of these programs end up going belly up and then it's a waste of the money. So, I mean, I, part of the problem is that people are watching their wallets right now. And so, you know, when you have a situation where taxes are going up, it's another thing that makes people nervous besides the the cost of regular everyday things like we talked about. Well, the bottom line is we all know one thing, Bidenomics, it ain't working. Uh, he can keep touring from one city to the next, uh, trying to convince people of that. But even mainstream media outlets are having to say, you know, why aren't the American people, why isn't that resonating? Uh, because it's not, it's not. You can keep telling them that, but they know what's in their bank account. Melissa Armo, thank you so much for joining us. Good to see you. All right, uh, the world and uh, let's be honest, our nation's economy is in turmoil and it's easy, right, to let us get to us. But earlier today on American Sunrise, uh, we had a chance to speak with Penny Maxwell uh, from the Freedom House Church. And I thought it was so important to do this because we get it. We're stressed, you're stressed, we're all stressed. And we like to think that we're always in control. But there are moments